this is actually going to be something new that I'm introducing. This here is a story of a situation that occurred with a spiritualist at one time. Not going to name the spiritualist's name, but let's just say I'll just use spiritualist to identify the person in the story. Actually, there's actually two spiritualists in the story. So, anyhow, once upon a time, there was this lady. She was involved with this guy in, you know, basically a fairly well-looking lady, fair, like, beautiful woman. In her late 40s, she was involved with this very rich white guy. And the thing was, they were together for a while, and uh, what happened was, they separated. So, I guess things didn't work out. She tried to work it out with the guy, and it just didn't really, it just really didn't hit off, you know? There was reasons she told, this, you know, she told uh, the spiritualist that there was arguments at times and you know the guy just lost interest so this lady being down on her luck she's crying left and right she's she's down on her luck you know and she one day entertains the idea of spirituality because she was watching videos for motivation and so so come to find out one day she's on the internet She's scrolling through self-help videos, how to overcome a broken heart. And she comes across a video of this Mambo. And this Mambo's talking about love spells. She's on YouTube, she's watching the video, she's watching the content. So her interest was sparked and Come to find out, she reaches out to, to the Mambo. So, she runs the story down to the Mambo how her heart was burning and yearning for this man. The Mambo told her, yes, this is your soulmate. This is the person you're supposed to be with. The lady felt that this was this was a news that she never heard before and she felt like this was divine because the reading as she spoke with the spiritualist rather I say the mambo gave her a reading and she was running certain things down to her and some things we could pretty much say lined up with what the lady saw with her two eyes and she was in disbelief so she kind of trusted the spiritualist. And she was offered service, service to bring back the lover. So she says, I'll give you, I'll give you a call. Give me, give me some time to think about this. Because the spiritualist told her things that would transpire. And she was she felt as though she needed time because this is something that she never experienced in her life and to be dishing out money you know and not knowing whether or not the stuff is real or not you know she was still in disbelief about what she heard so anyhow the lady goes home she ponders about everything she reaches out to the mambo and she says she's ready to go so what happens is Time goes by, time goes by, and she doesn't reach out to the Mambo. So, she ends up meeting this guy, the individual from before. A while later, like some time down the line, I'd say, I'm taking that, it probably was like a couple of months down the line or so, and she reconnected with this guy. 
but things weren't where she actually wanted it to be. So she thought to herself, maybe I should call the Mambo up. The guy that she was dealing with got into a relationship with a new woman. So it wasn't like she can enter into the situation because the guy had someone at the moment. So desperation comes over. She reaches out to the Mambo and says she's ready to move forward. She tells the Mambo that the guy has moved on with someone new. The Mambo says, don't worry about it. The Mambo says, in, in a couple of days, he'll be back. So the lady, she's waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. The spiritualist tells her that everything's gonna be all right. Just be calm. Days go by, days go by, days go by, weeks go by, nothing, nada, nada. So this lady, she went back to the spiritualist and the spiritualist gave her the run around, run around. She paid the spiritualist some money and nothing. The spiritualist ignored her calls, blocked her number. So she feels hopeless now. She looks around and she's wondering if she was a fool to be scammed out of her money. But she felt that what she experienced in the reading kind of gave her hope because there was only things that no one else could know. So she said, I'll give this thing a second chance. So she reached out to another spiritualist, a Haitian male, and what happened was this, the lady, she explained to the Haitian male what actually happened. And the Haitian male was compassionate. He sat down with her, listened to her story. And she said, I like how you took your time out to speak with me. And I like how you present yourself and how you carry yourself and how you conduct business. So she said, I want to hire you. Now, this individual explained to her that he's not like any other or the majority. He stated to this lady, that if you choose to hire him, that she has to abide by certain rules and regulations such as no dating anyone else except for the talk, except for the individual or the person that she's after or the target. And he also stated that there would be consequences for the lover because he was involved with another woman. So the plan was to draw the man back and eliminate the third party. So work was done with the Haitian male and she started seeing the guy coming back. The guy started coming back. The affection started coming back. The love started coming back. And the guy started spending time with her. So the lady was very happy. Heart was filled with joy. But she noticed something that the guy was complaining about his health. And he started complaining about the health of the woman who was see he was seeing, which happened to be his wife. He was complaining to the lady, stating that he doesn't know what's wrong with her. 
So after a while, the lady convinced the individual that she was seeing to go get a test done on his wife to find out what's the cause. Because if he's sick and she's, you know, if he's feeling, feeling sick and she's sick, she wanted to know what was the cause. So come to find out, nothing was wrong with the male. But there was something definitely wrong with the wife. What happened was, actually, I'm not going to say what happened. I would say what came up was that she was found with the last stages of cancer. And it was almost bewildering to the doctors as how, as how quickly this thing came about. Because usually cancer moves in stages. And out of nowhere, this lady had the last stage of cancer. So the doctor gave a time frame to the husband and stated that she only has a couple of months to live. So anyhow, this, the, the, the lady who went to the Haitian male, she started crying. She started crying, she started saying that she wanted to know, is there a way that it can be reversed? And the male, to the Haitian male told her, absolutely not. So as time went on, the wife eventually passed on. And the lady got married to the individual that she went to be with. The moral of the story is be careful what you ask for because you will get it. <laughs>